Hi everyone, I'm Pastor Benny Parrish with Be In Health and Hope of the Generations. Today, I'd like to share with you some teaching from the fear class offered in the For My Life retreat. I want to ask you a question today. How would you define fear? I've asked a lot of people that very same question and rarely do I get a correct answer. So I want you to think in your mind, how would you define fear? And then I want to read from you from the scripture. And then I want you to continue to define fear for yourself. And the scripture is found in 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. So think about that verse. Now, how would you define fear now that you've heard that verse? I want you to hear it one more time. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind mind. Now after I read that to many people, even twice, they st still don't define fear correctly. Because in this verse, it's saying that fear is a spirit. It is a spirit. Uh, this spirit, you cannot see it, but it's just beyond your physical sight. It is able to speak to your spirit, and that comes over into your brain, and you have these fearful thoughts. So the enemy is, is able to speak to us just beyond our physical sight. So we need to really consider, you know, where are our thoughts coming from? So when I got here uh, about 13 years ago, I had uh, a bad, bad case of allergies. I'd had allergies since I was a young boy and um, I didn't understand why. I was taken to the allergy doctor and they would always give me medicines that would help me with the symptoms, but nobody ever talked about ever curing my allergies. So I figured when I came here to the Be In Health For My Life retreat that allergies was just something everybody had to put up with. But when I came and I learned about fear, that fear was a spirit that could speak to me and uh, that really made a big difference. They showed me here at Be In Health in the For My Life retreat that you can have allergies because fear, when you are in a state of fear, it releases cortisol into your body and that cortisol can begin to weaken your immune system. And when your immune system is weakened, it can cause excessive B cell activity and if you looked in a first year medical textbook, you would see that allergies are actually caused by excessive B cell activity. So to get rid of allergies, it seemed like, hey, you know, it'd be pretty easy now that I understand why I'm having these allergies. All I have to do is deal with the fear that's speaking to me and cast those wild imaginations down and lift up the Word of God. And if I could do that, then the cortisol would not be released and the immune system would not be weakened and the excessive B cell activity would become normalized and uh, then I wouldn't have allergies. So I began to put that into practice. What I did is every time my body would, uh, I would think a fearful thought and I'd feel like, you know, my heart would begin to race. You know, when you have fearful thoughts, it causes a lot of stuff goes on in your body. So when I would have that fearful thought from the enemy, I would uh, say, okay, now what am I thinking up here? What thought, is that my thought or is that coming from a spirit of fear and trying to put me in fight or flight when there's no really good reason to be in fight or flight? You know, God designed fight or flight to help us not to keep us in a state of fight or flight all the time. So when, when I began to examine the thoughts that I was having and I began to take those thoughts captive and cast those wild imaginations down and lift up the Word of God, over a period of about three months, I discovered that the enemy was speaking to me 
and it, it was causing me to go into fight or flight for no reason. So I began to cast that down, and guess what happened? Well, I quit releasing cortisol, my B cell activity went down, and I haven't had allergies for now for over 12 and a half years. I wished somebody would have told me that a long time ago when I was a young man. People come to the For My Life retreat here in Thomaston, Georgia. Uh, I have an opportunity to talk with all of them, or many of them at least, and uh, I find that fear is one of the biggest issues, and what's really prevalent is families, mothers and fathers, uh, begin to be fearful about their children. That's a big issue with people. Um, they are also, another big issue is finances. A big area is finances, where people, uh, have fear of not making it financially. So, you know, when I look at Matthew chapter six, starting at verse 25, I just want to read some of those verses and, and share with you how God would think about finances and, you know, about being fearful of finances not working out. And uh, I'll just start there. Therefore, I say unto you, Take no thought of your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body that ye shall put on. Is not life more than meat and the body more than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not. They don't even have a job, folks. Uh, neither do they reap nor gather into barns. So they don't store up. They don't have a savings account. Yet your heavenly Father feed of them. Are ye not much better than they? A great question. So I think what God is saying here is that He is going to take care of us and He wants us to be men and women of faith, not men and women of fear. So when the enemy begins to speak to you fearful thoughts about your finances, you know, this is a great verse. This is one of the ways to, you know, primary ways really of, of overcoming the enemy. You know, when Jesus was led out into the desert to be tested, the enemy lied to him and Jesus would just requote the word of God back to him and say, hey, 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 that's a lie. That doesn't, that's not true. Here's what God really said. So, I mean, you can use this verse and you can tell the enemy, hey, God feeds the birds. He feeds the fowl of the air. He's gonna take care of me. I'm a man or a woman of faith. I'm going to cast down those fearful thoughts that you're giving me. I don't agree with you. You're a liar, Satan. And that's what God would have us to do. Uh, also, you know, in this verse, it says that God is going to give you these things if you seek the kingdom of God first. So when you're seeking the kingdom of God first, you're going to be a man and a woman of faith. You're going to be casting down those fearful thoughts and lifting up what God has said here in Matthew. And that is going to be the key for you overcoming your fear. And we're gonna tell that spirit of fear, you're a liar and you don't belong here anymore and you gotta go because of what Christ did on the cross. Leave. I don't agree with you, go in Jesus' name. And replace those fearful thoughts with these words of faith that God has shared with us. If, if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up on YouTube. If you want to dig deeper into what God's Word says about health and disease, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that you can be updated every time we post a new video. Don't forget to leave us a comment and let us know what you think. We appreciate it.